hi friends uh, so in this demo session what uh, I want to show is uh, a very simple task which is there in the SQL server but uh, very few people I mean uh, it's kind of ignored so uh, in builds it's quite helpful when you are giving a build uh, for any table I mean if, if you have to migrate the table from a uh, from uh, an environment from a development environment to a UAT or from, or from any other environment and you need the table uh, script and as well as the, uh, the data residing in the table so in that scenario what uh, you could do I mean uh, how could you create that table and the data script as quickly as possible I just want to show that it's, it's going to be a very short and a quick video so let's uh, see in, in the task you'll have generate scripts task and uh, this will be helpful so uh, again I select my dev database and the next thing is nothing but a lot of options that we have so let's uh, look into the table uh, option if you see the table you have something called script data which is by default false so if you want that only the create uh, generate table script and not uh, the data residing in the table you could rather uh, leave it false and proceed uh, to the generation of the table but uh, since I am going to show with the data as well so I set it to true next is what all objects you wish uh, to generate scripts for so in this demo I'll just do for tables next uh, and move on to next I have few tables here so I select uh, one of them house points which I have used in my uh, prior videos for one of uh, the demo purpose so I select the table and click on next and uh, here what you get is in the query window uh, I would rather script it on a file so okay so I have saved it uh, and the next is to generate the script so this would generate the script for my uh, table so it's, it's done so let me just go and show you okay so this is the script that has been generated if you look at this it's a very clean way I mean uh, it has been generated the script and uh, so this is the data uh, I mean the uh, create table script and as well as the data now if I wish uh, to execute the script in any other environment maybe in my work DB let's see how it okay there is already an object okay no 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 we can Just check about DB. What the error, right? Oh, sorry. I got it. My mistake. I'm sorry. So if I now go ahead and execute it, yeah, if you see. The table has been created. So if I okay, this is the table. So that was uh, a quick demo on how to generate the scripts as well as uh, the data. So thanks, friends. It, it, I think it will be helpful to you for while migrating this uh, the script and uh, and providing the scripts uh, with your builds uh, for uh, the SQL developers. There are other tools and uh, as well, but this is one of the ways. I mean, so it will be helpful. Apart from that, although this is not uh, uh, highly recommended because uh, of bulk, if the uh, the data in bulks, but uh, usually you don't 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 import or export data from one environment to another when you have data in bulk, like one million records. It is not the case. It's only the master tables of your domain or master tables of your applications which are actually uh, which are actually migrated, which are needed by the application. So. 
those tables seldom have as many records but if you have a lot of records uh, maybe a million records it's not the correct good idea for you because these are all the insert statements if you if you look at it uh, the disadvantage is these are all the insert statements so basically each of the insert will again uh, uh, i mean uh, bloat up your uh, uh, transaction logs so it's uh, in that scenario a bcp or a bulk insert would be a better a better option to go with so uh, i have cautioned you on this and so just be cautioned that you uh, uh, import i mean generate scripts uh, with inserts for only your master tables which are having few records so thank you